there during a uh, team? First? Oh, not really. <laughs> We're doing fine. What was the uh, what was the message that you uh, gave DL and Olsen afterwards? Uh, that you know, and again, I, I open this up to to let, give you an opportunity. That's you know things that I talk about with our football team is what we talk about our football team. We're not, otherwise, I'll just close the darn session. Now. You understand? I, understand. I mean, I'm, I think I'm being pretty good, and and uh, you know the message that I gave to our football team: you got to play under control. You got to keep your head in crucial situations, and and uh, if we have a mental mistake like that, it can hurt the team. But it's nothing to do with the elders, several players, in several situations uh, throughout the, the day. That you got to be able to control your emotions. That's the most important part of football. But uh, we're young kids; they're learning. And, uh, you know, they're doing a good job, doing well. But, uh, you know, you got to get on top of little things early. And I didn't talk to him just about that. I talked to him about a lot of different things. Uh, Coach, as far as, you know, the second day, do you think it's sped up a little bit today or not so much? Oh, I think it's about the same. I don't think we can speed up because we've been here. We've had 17 practices with a group of kids. You know, it isn't like we've had veterans for 20 years and 15 and 10 years. And, you know, we've had 17 practices with about 30 new faces out there. So, you know, we've got every coach working. We've got every player working. So we can't go fast right now, not as fast as we're going to two or three years down the road. We're trying to take a program. And, and, and I mean, from literally from us being here, you know, we don't know much about these kids. So, you know, we're teaching them on the run. We're coaching the younger ones. We need all the depth we can because I don't think I think we're, you know, as big as strong as we need to be yet. I think we're working towards that. But uh, so we need every kid and every rep. So we have to like the young guys that Coach Clay's and myself and a couple other guys are just working with the young guys to teach them what to do. So, you know, six, seven days from now when they scrimmage, at least they got a chance to prove what they can do because we may need one of those guys. We don't know. You get a chance to look at the tape yet? You see anything you like? From yesterday? Oh, yeah, I mean, I, we look at the tape. We're not going to go home until we look at that. And, yeah, there's a lot of good things that, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, from an offensive standpoint, I think the young offensive linemen are, you know, I think uh, the six, seven kids there are, are going to be awful good players down the road. You know, certainly a good foundation. They're all athletic kids. And, and uh, you know, I don't know. I'd like to be able to redshirt them all if we could because I think it's a good group of kids. I don't know whether we can or not. Uh, Malcolm Mould is definitely a, a guy that's got a different gear and, and should help our football program. And it's easy to see that on his early, early, early days at receiver. And I thought, you know, the big thing at receivers, there's some guys can do some things. We just got to keep them healthy. And uh, you know, uh, you know, young running back from Texas, he, he's done some good things, you know. Uh, but uh, I think they moved around and were pretty hard on offense. Defensively, I think we're a lot farther ahead than we were in the spring. I mean, I think that that group has come a long way uh, since the first day that we got here. They still got a ways to go, uh, but, uh, you know, they're moving around pretty good. Uh, we've got a lot of bodies over there right now. Uh, we got to find some people that are going to rush the passer. That still bothers me. We can't. we got to be able to put pressure on the quarterback. And, you know, do we have that yet? No. And so we've got to find that. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, special team wise, I guess the positive was we stuck a field goal today. You know, that's a good thing. And I think the punters have had a pretty good day. But again, it's two practices. And, you know, uh, and the weather's like, you know, I mean, this isn't to a day camp. This is like fall camp. It's too nice. I wish it's about 90 degrees. McKnight said he's getting close to 100%. Would you be safe to say you'd play him if it was game day? You know? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play him. Not, not of his game day, but we don't play. We don't play for whatever it is, so I'm not worried about that. We'll take progress. And again, I'm worried about getting better each week, every day. Our opponents are self right now. We got to we got to compete among ourselves and get better. You said in the spring that you thought Marcus uh, Jones is, will, will certainly play this fall. Uh, and anything uh, changed on your assessment of him? And, and how does no, he he's gotten better. Him? He's bigger. Is he? You know, he's buck seventy-five, something like that. He's he's probably you know a little quicker than than what he was in the spring. He's certainly more confident. He's stronger. You know, that's one advantage of having a freshman here. You know, for spring ball, he's you know he's like a redshirt freshman. Sure. You know, so he's farther along than what most kids would be. So I think that's a plus. And as thin as we are in the receiving core that we were in the spring, we, we talked about it. We got six or seven kids that run pretty well right now. It's just can they stay healthy and not have this and have that wrong and so forth. And, and 
so uh, hopefully we can keep them healthy. But every team's saying that right now. I mean, you know, none of us have enough depth to have people injured.